What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my Nadula hair um, review for this unit. This series is all about how I achieved this color and installed this unit. So hopefully you've seen part one, but if not, go check that out. I absolutely love this unit and all the details will be in the description box for you guys. So go check that out. And other than that guys, let's just get into part two. So as you guys can see, I'm looking a little rusty and crusty. Um, this is how I wear my hair under my units in these um, straight back flat twists. I don't do braids, but I could do a video on, you know, how I take care of my hair under units. But first, what I'm taking is my got to be gel, and I'm just applying that to my edges and brushing that back with my edge brush, just because I want to make sure that none of my edges are, you know, sticking out or nothing's gonna come forward once I put on my wig cap. So yeah, that's the first step that I do each time before I install a wig. So now that that's done, I'm just going to be applying my wig cap. This is the wig cap that I'm using for today. It doesn't have to be the specific kind. You can literally use any kind of wig cap as long as it's nude or, you know, your flesh color. That's fine. So, yeah. So now I'm just applying my wig cap. I'm going to, to push it back um, just so that, you know, it's nice and flat. It's not bunched up. And then I'm going to pull it down over my ears. I pull it down over my ears and then I cut my ear holes out, as you can see. Cut the air, bring the air through, and bam, there you go. So now I'm taking my Got To Be Spray. Um, I spray this kind of directly on my hairline, a little bit in front of my hairline, and I just, you know, massage it in there, slide it back just to make sure that it's going to get like a good hold make sure you get by the ears really really good because that's where you're going to be cutting um i mean you're going to cut across but that part by the ear has the most tension so make sure that you're spraying that down pretty good um i actually do two coats of this just because i want to be sure my wig cap is not going to move i hate to cut my wig cap and then like one part slides back or you know like i just don't need any wig cap mishaps because this process is long enough without me making mistakes with the wig cap okay so yeah make sure you get the ears really good um and like i said i do two coats of this so i'm going to spray and then i'm going to blow dry and then i'm going to spray again and then once that's dry then we'll move on to the next step So now I'm just blow drying. Um, much like many other people, I hate the blow dryer. So I'm going to fast forward this part because I blow dry and I stop and take a break. I switch it back and forth between cool and hot. Just I just hate the blow dryer, okay? So yeah, I just be trying to get it dry as fast as possible and just move on because I hate the blow dryer. Um, so yeah, let me fast forward this. So right here, I'm just feeling around to make sure that all the parts of um, my wig cap are dry. Um, if they're not, you need to go ahead and spray again and blow dry again. <laughs> but um, yeah, so mine was dry. And you'll know that it's dry when it's actually dry. It won't feel tacky. It won't feel sticky. It'll just feel dry. So yeah, mine was dry. So now I'm just going ahead and repeating that same process again. And then I'm going to blow dry again. So I'm going to fast forward that part because you guys already know what that looks like. Okay, so my camera actually died and I thought that it was recording when it wasn't. So right here, my wig cap is already cut, but now I'm just taking my foundation brush and just um, blending my wig cap with my skin. Um, you can use any kind of foundation that you want. I use a powder kind and um, yeah, so that's already done. So this is what the unit looks like. If you guys didn't see it in my part one video, this is what the unit looks like. Um, this unit is absolutely beautiful. It's from Nadula Hair. This is what it's looking like. Freshly washed, toned, straightened, bleached, all that stuff. It's so, so, so pretty. I was so excited to put this wig on, y'all. Oh, my God. Um, um, so, yeah, now I'm just cutting the extra wig cap that's in the back. That ain't nothing, you know, just cutting the excess. So, now I'm taking my foundation brush and I'm going to use the same um, foundation just to color 
the inside of my unit just to you know help it blend better when I glue it down um, this is a really important step I would not recommend skipping this step so make sure you guys are doing this So this is the glue that I'm using today. Um, I'm using Bold Hold today. Usually I use the Ghost Bond, but today I said, you know what, let me go ahead and use my Bold Hold for this. So I'm just going to be applying dots all around my hairline. Um, I have a rather low hairline. My forehead is not big and I also have long eyebrows. So I put my glue like right on the line of my wig cap and my forehead. So. Once I do those dots, I'm going to take the end of my razor comb. You can use whatever you want, a popsicle stick. Um, some people use like a butter knife, whatever you want. And I'm just going to create a flat layer of that glue. I do mine one side at a time because you don't want to do two sides and then it's taking you a while to smooth it out and then the other side gets dry. It dries so fast, especially on your first layer. So yeah, I would definitely recommend to do one side at a time. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just smoothing out that glue. And then once that is done, I'm going to move on to my next side. Once I'm done my next side, this side will be dry. And then I'll be applying my second coat to this side. So it's going to be two coats on each side. Now that I have those two coats down, I'm going to go ahead and use my blow dryer. Um, my blow dryer is a little bit out of the, you know, scene, but I'm using my blow dryer. There it is. And I'm just going to blow dry and make sure, you know, all that glue is nice and tacky before I go ahead and apply my wig. So now I'm just putting my wig on and I'm going to straighten out that lace and I'm just going to slide it up. I'm going to slide it right up to my hairline and then I'm going to start pressing it down with my comb. Um, this still isn't like pressed down. My camera just like dropped so I had to like realign it. So right now I'm just pressing down on my hairline, um, aligning it just to see, you know, where my lace is going to lay. So once I feel like I have the lace where I want it, I'm going to take my blow dryer and just blow dry right there so that it stays. Um, I do this section by section. So I'm going to do one side and then like, just like when I glue it down, I'm going to do one side and then move on to the next side, move on to the you know next section, etc., etc. So right here, I'm just cutting my ear tabs. Um, I just use my the rat tail end of the comb and just slide it back above my ear. And I'm just going to cut along that line right there. So as you can see, nothing is popping out except for my ear. And I'm just going to cut that tab off so that my ears aren't, you know, covered by the lace. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing on the opposite side. Guys, don't mind like the white residue or whatever. Like I think that 
where some people get scared at with frontals is when they go to apply it they think that like as soon as the lace is you know glued to their skin that is supposed to look seamless and flawless right then and there um for beginners like me it's not always like that but the end product is always 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 a banger okay so just bear with me in these videos um like i said i'm not a pro but i know how to lay my lace and i know how to make it you know seamless and i know how to blend it so yeah i'm a beginner so you guys just you know roll with me So now I'm just cutting the lace um, in like a zigzag kind of motion. I'm just moving the lace up and down as I'm cutting. So now I'm just taking that foundation brush and just brushing along the hairline just to make it, you know, blend a little more, make it a little more seamless, um, get, rid of, get rid of, get rid of, get rid of some of that white residue. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It's just the same foundation brush. I didn't add any product to it. It's just, you know, whatever's left over, it's all residue. This is where the unit starts looking more like skin. This is where I do my melting and blending process and you know everything like that. I style the wig um, after. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and do my middle part. I'm going to get my hot comb. If you don't have a hot comb, don't be trying to wear no frontal if you don't got a hot comb, okay? That's rule number uno. When it comes to having a frontal, you need a hot comb, sis. Go get you a hot comb. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start creating my baby hairs. Um, this is kind of a weird process to try to explain because I literally just play with it and just see like where I want what to lay, um, where I want baby hairs, where I don't. Um, yeah, so that's just what this process is. So now that my baby hairs are laid down, I'm just going to go ahead and put my hair into a ponytail and then I'm going to take my elastic band. You can use a scarf, you can use whatever you want. I just use elastic band because it's always what's closest to me. So I'm going to take an elastic band and I'm just going to wrap up my edges. Oh, for my baby hairs, I also use the, um, the got to be gel for my baby hairs as well. So yeah, now I'm just setting that and just um, tying my elastic band around and I'm gonna let that sit for probably about like 30 minutes. I'm not gonna use a blow dryer, just gonna let it sit and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I am taking my elastic band off. Um, be careful because, yeah, just be careful. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just like get any of that extra glue off of my skin and I'm gonna go back to styling. So now I'm taking my Remy styling stick, wax stick, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can use whatever one you want. They're really, honestly, they're all the same. Um, so I'm going to use my slick stick and I'm going to go ahead and just get any flyaways and lay that down. Um, right here, I'm just touching up my middle part. So my part was not defined enough for me. So right now I'm just taking an angle brush and just putting some concealer on my part. Um, be careful with this don't use too much and make sure that when you're doing this you're like patting it through um just to make it look natural like you'll see i'm not going to fast forward this part because I, I want you guys to see exactly like what i'm doing to make it look as natural as possible so 
now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, just run my hot comb and my flat iron through the hair. I'm going to continue styling it. Guys, this hair is so, so, so beautiful. Ah, oh my gosh. Like, I love this unit. Thank you so much, my little hair, for sending me this unit. Um, I'm going to be wearing this for a while <laughs> because I really, really, really like it. Um, and that's about it. This is what the unit looks like from the back. As you can see, it's nice and flowy. The color, like, everything is just so good. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, this review. Um, yeah, and until next time, guys, stay positive and be blessed.